I may or may not have gone a little bit nuts at the store. The good news is, if you like watching haul videos, then you will probably like this one because, well, I have quite a variety of things to show you. Be sure to subscribe if you are new here. I also, let me get into it because I have a question for you guys and I need you to, to give me your opinion in the comments below, also known as your opinion, in case you don't speak Cajun or whatever that was, opinion. Yeah, because they are the ones who say onion instead of onions. Do you guys remember that cook? That guy, what was his name? Oh, he was the Cajun chef. He was in like a wood kitchen. I feel like he had like a red apron, brown hair. He was a Cajun chef, I can't think of it. Justin Wilson, there it is. Oh, I love when that happens. It just, boom, your brain just goes, just like get it out of the Rolodex, blow the dust off and throw it at you. Justin Wilson, do you guys remember him? Anyways, that's Anion. I don't even know how we got here. Let's get into the haul. So I did a little bit of damage at Walmart. Today's video is sponsored by Walmart, though everything that I'm sharing with you guys in this video today was purchased by me, was purchased by me and paid for by me. Um, all things chosen by me, paid for by me, etc. So I will link everything down below, but y'all know how much I love Walmart, how much it is just a staple place for me to shop for everything from clothing stuff to party type stuff to uh, home stuff, camping stuff, backyard stuff. It doesn't, I mean, just everything. Walmart has a little bit of everything, it seems. I find a lot of bit of things that I like there, so. And if you guys saw my Instagram post a few days ago, I did just sign up for their Walmart Plus membership, which is really cool. It has some really neat benefits. The main one that got me excited was the discount on gas. All the details of that are in my Instagram post. I just wanted to mention that. But you also get some good discounts on like grocery delivery, things like that. So I'll leave all that information down below as well. But let's get into the haul. So you can't see the table in front of me here, but I am planning a bit of a 4th of July soiree not really, it's just a backyard hangout, but there's gonna be about 30 people here. So I decided that I wanted to decorate more than I usually do, and I wanted to come up with some fun like 4th of July patriotic kinds of foods and snacks and stuff like that. So today I'm gonna to share with you guys the haul of some of the items that I got for that event and then just some other things that I picked up because you know I just cannot resist. Some of it I'm gonna to have to insert some footage of because it is way too large for me to bring in here and show you, show you. The first thing, this top, you guys, how adorable is this top? It's sort of like the chambray material. It is not a heavy thick denim. It's like the lighter chambray material. It is so adorable. I love this kind of like off the, the shoulder with a little bit of eyelet. I picked this up in store. I'm sure they probably have it online, so I'll link it. And they had it in another color that I think was lighter than this. I know they had two denim -y colors because it's that chambray, but I think the other one was lighter than this. The next thing I picked up was a cooler. This is something that we needed anyways for my husband. He goes fishing all the time. Sometimes he takes the boys. I have yet to go out fishing on the boat. I at some point will. I don't love water that much. Um, not, I just don't love water I can't see down into. Ugh. Point is, is that we needed a cooler. And I really liked this one, one, because it's all white and cute. Uh, but also because I thought, oh, I could totally uh, use my Cricut and put like either our last name on it or something like, I don't know, some like jokey fishy thing for my husband. If y'all saw like the mug I made him for Christmas, um, I won't repeat that here because it's really not that appropriate, but I did share it in a gift video a while back. The other thing I bought, which doesn't really have anything to do with the party, except for that I'll use it in the pre-clean before people come over, is a big shop vac. So we have, well, we don't have, my oldest daughter has a shop vac that she purchased for herself because that's the kind of kid that she is, <laughs> to clean up uh, after her pets and animals and stuff that live in her room. I always have to like borrow it from her and then she like gives me grief about making sure that I clean it out before I return it to her and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? I will just get my own shop vac. Thank you very much. So that's exactly what I did. And this one is way cuter than hers. It's the Heart brand from Walmart and it works fantastically. I just used it to vacuum out my car the other day. It's really nice to have a vacuum that you use outside. You wouldn't think there was many things that you vacuum in the garage or whatever, but there actually are. And this vacuum works excellently. This is the other thing that I purchased. Now I just got one of these because I wanted this color specifically. So I got this one online as well, but I think I'm going to go back and get other colors because I love these. This Ozark Trail is the brand and this is a tumbler for keeping drinks obviously cold in. I love these. I use them constantly around here. I always have a drink outside and I love this color. I love this like bright green color. And again, it's something I can cricket. You know the rule in my house, if you hold still long enough, I will likely cricket you with something. I'll 
put some vinyl on you somewhere. And I love making up things like this as gifts or party favors or something like that, just making something personalized for people. So I may go back and get some more of these and do something on my Cricut uh, to make some little party favors for the adults that are coming um, for 4th of July. So, oh, that's what I was gonna ask you guys. Okay, before I forget, tell me down below in the comments. We'll get to some food stuff in a minute, but I, I know people don't always make it through these long-winded videos of mine. So up front, in the beginning, I need you to give me your best like 4th of July recipes. Um, I'm already starting to do some Pinteresting to get some ideas for things, but I need to go get like food. Obviously we'll do like hot dogs and stuff, but I'm thinking like, desserts or like patriotic drinks or something like that. Like, give me some ideas. I feel like I don't want to do the same things that I did last year um, and the year before. I'm pretty sure I did the same cake and stuff both years. So any ideas you guys have would be greatly appreciated. And then the other thing that I cannot show you because it is in a box is a fire pit. So we, as y'all know, have poured the concrete slab over here on like it's right in front of me when I'm looking out this window. And then we're gonna be setting pavers in like a half circle and doing like a fire pit on the outside part of the pavilion, obviously not on the inside part. We wouldn't want to catch it on fire. Um, but Walmart has a number of fire pits. I, again, not something I knew that you could get at Walmart, but yes, you can. All right, I did pick up some little outfits for the kids to wear for our little 4th of July bash. How cute is this outfit that I got for Benjamin? It is like a red tie-dye, sort of like a linen blend shirt. It will be nice and cool, and then it comes with matching khaki like cargo shorts, so adorable. Benjamin is going to look adorable in that. And then I picked these up for the twins, Ivy and Amelia, who are four, uh, will be five at the end of the month, but we're not even gonna talk about that right now. It's a little two-piece set. It's shorts and a little top. How freaking cute. This is the softest. This is not like hard and crunchy. This is like the softest material ever. It is so soft, so cute. So I did grab uh, two of those. And then I actually have a light blue dress that I got from Walmart for Rosie uh, probably like a month ago. And uh, when I was looking through the girls department there, I was like, that's still like, that would be what I would buy for her. So she's going to wear that. But I did grab her a new pair of shorts because she has ripped a little hole. If there is anything that has like any, if you get jeans that have like a little bit of destruction on them or something where they've got like meant to be there holes in them she will just sit there and pick at it until it becomes a gaping hole so i grabbed some of these jean shorts for her that have no destruction on them there's no holes in them already for her to make bigger but they have the extendable size in the waist which i really like because that allows me to cinch those in on her little teeny waist because she's quite small for her age um, and i just helps things fit better. Y'all know, your parents, most of you, some of you, all of you, I don't know. I don't know if this is new at Walmart that they're now carrying a polo, like a line of polo stuff. One of my sons, Jonah, loves a collared shirt. If you will let him wear like a button up with a collar, he loves that, or a collared shirt like this, like a polo, he loves this. He just, I think he just likes to feel like he's like styling, you know, he likes to feel like he looks good. And so he loves polo shirts. So I was like, okay, well he has to have this one for sure. So he got the navy um, and white striped polo. And then my other son, who's more casual of a dresser, and I loved this because it's all these fun like color block colors on it. I know he will love this. He loves anything that has kind of like that baseball tee look to it. And he, like I said, is a little bit more casual of a dresser given a choice. So that's going to be his 4th of July shirt. And then for my older two daughters, I don't dare to buy them things without them being present. So most of the time they're just going to raid my closet anyway. <laughs> I did get this for my husband. When you first walk into Walmart, there is like a whole section of 4th of July stuff. And I may or may not have like gone a little bit crazy. But like I said, I just wanted the kids that were all coming to have something fun and different things but I saw this for my husband and I could not resist um, in case y'all don't know my husband um, in high school was voted most spirited that was his senior award the whole class voted basically that he was the most spirited he would dress up for football games wear wigs face paint and all this kind of stuff like he was very into school spirit. So my husband likes a little bit of cheesiness every now and again. And I saw this hat and I just couldn't resist. If he won't wear it, I might wear it. But it's just got an eagle with aviator sunglasses on and it says America. If he won't wear that, I will, because I think it's hilarious. Although it won't look very good with this, so he'll have to wear it. They did have some shoes on clearance. So I just want to show these to you really quickly because I feel like I got some really good deals on kids' shoes. So they're just these little sandals that are quick and easy for kids to throw on. They've got the Velcro strap. I believe these were like six bucks. So I grabbed two pairs of these, but I also picked up these cute little pink tie-dye slip-on shoes. 
They're so adorable. Preference for my kids, especially in the summer and everything, and now that we're like living out here on the farm, it's just always for them to have stuff they can throw on really quick and easy um, because they are often just throwing shoes on to run outside and they're in and out all day is what I'm saying. So they need to have like easy shoe choices. And I told you guys, I did get some cheesy 4th of July stuff. I got these for the twins because I just couldn't resist. <laughs> I thought they were so cute, the little top hat headbands. And then I also grabbed a big thing of like Mardi Gras bead necklaces. Again, just for all the kids to have to play with. And then I also got these glow necklaces. Uh, we don't do a ton of fireworks here because of the animals, uh, especially like the horses and stuff. It really freaks them out. And to be honest, we kind of live in the country, so... We get a lot of fireworks around us. Uh, we also live in South Carolina where like the big fireworks are legal. People drive from other states to South Carolina to buy fireworks because our fireworks stands sell like the big dogs. Um, so we don't, we just watch them from our porch from, for all around us because people are just lighting them up for days. It's actually kind of annoying to be honest. Like I'm down on the 4th of July. I will give you that even though they go into way late into the night and it is a long night for us because our animals don't like it. The dogs bark, the horses freak out and we have to kind of stay out there and babysit to make sure that horses don't get so scared that they jump the fence and try to run away, like that kind of stuff. It is really annoying that people usually do fireworks the night before, the night of and the night after all around us. The other things I got in that kind of like patriotic section were these little like hamburger hot dog things because it's always nice them to have like the little boats where they can put stuff in it and you don't have to risk it sliding off. And I thought those were really cute. And the napkins. I didn't want the cheesy factor to be too much. I realize it's we're kind of already past that, but just go with it, okay? Then I also grabbed this from uh, Pioneer Woman's line. It's the Charming Czech Tablecloth. Love this, perfect for 4th of July and could be used lots of other times too, but uh, I love her line of anything there. And I saw that and was like, yep, that will be my tablecloth. Charming check, check, check. I'm telling y'all you need to pop in and see the, the like 4th of July section. I got some baking cups, you know, the little cupcake holders that are the stars and stripes basically. And then um, I also grabbed some of the star spangled sprinkle mix um, because I will probably at the very least do cupcakes. So I'm really hoping you guys will come through with some other recipe ideas for me. Also grabbed red, white, and blue melts uh, because I will probably do like pretzel sticks, like pretzel rods, you know, like firecracker pretzel rods. Not to like save the best for last, but I was really excited about this. So I, like I told you, I wanted to kind of go all out and decorate and stuff, but I don't love, I don't even know, like the, the, the cheesy, like very lightweight feeling, uh, you know, like Memorial Day, they'll do like the swags and stuff. Um, a lot of people around here put up that kind of stuff on Memorial Day and leave it up through 4th of July. Um, I did not get to that this year, but I really liked this because it's sort of, they're all made of like a burlap material. So they don't feel, the colors are darker and more muted. They're not quite as like bright and in your face as some of those other like swags and stuff are. And I thought these would be so cute. I could put these on just my green wreaths on the front door. I'm not sure exactly where, like some of the stuff I'll probably put at the front of the property, uh, like at our front entrance gate, but it's got like a little banner, stripes and stars and all that kind of stuff. So you can see what it looks like right there. It's just a patriotic banner. See, this is the bunting. Sorry, I don't know what I called it before, but it's the bunting. Hopefully you can see that. I may put this on our sun porch so that it can kind of be seen from the backyard when we're all back here hanging out for 4th of July. It's made out of like a burlap sack kind of material. So the colors are darker, more muted, and it just doesn't feel as cheesy to me. I don't know, it probably shouldn't be left in the rain. I would, I would guess that's probably uh, something that I need to be careful of to make sure that I put it up and then take it down. So I know the others can, they're almost like a raincoat material or something, so they can be left up in the rain. These probably cannot, but that's okay because I like them so much more. So I will take extra special care of those. I think that's it for the haul. That's all my like 4th of July party stuff. Now, like I said, y'all have got to give me some recipe ideas. I'll probably, maybe I'll do like a day in the life or like get ready, not get ready with me as in like makeup and hair, but like get ready for the party with me kind of a thing. And I can show y'all like where I end up putting this stuff, decorating and what I end up making for the party if you guys wanna see that. Though I don't know how helpful that would be to you because it probably wouldn't go up until after the 4th of July. <laughs> I have so many things, so many projects going on right now and things that I was especially really hoping to get done before we host this 4th of July party. Um, I shared with you guys in a video, a few videos back, 
about this playhouse that we got from Walmart. Um, and it is so awesome. It's really, really awesome. It's put together in our driveway right now, but I'm gonna give it a little makeover before, hope, maybe before 4th of July, but definitely before we finish installing the turf and getting that whole area set up. So I've been Pinteresting and getting ideas for how I want to do the makeover for that. Obviously, you don't have to do any of that stuff. It's great as it is just out of the box. I just, I just like the idea of doing that. Anyways, okay, I think that's it for me today. I will leave everything linked down below. Um, I'll leave our, I'll try to separate it by sections like party stuff, clothing stuff, um, like backyard, outdoor stuff, all of that. I'll try to kind of break it up that way so it's easy if you're looking for something specific because I realized I shared a lot, so there'll probably be a lot of links down there and I don't want it to be overwhelming. That is it for me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Thank you so much in advance for all of your recipe recommendations and ideas. They are always appreciated by moi. And with that, I will see you guys again very soon. Bye. You better believe you'll know when it's there.